I am, um, I would say, a Latino person because I mean I'm a mixture of several um, countries. Part of me is Chilean, another part is Colombian. I also grew up in Venezuela, but I've been living in the States for quite a long time. I am. Um, I have a very serious health condition. I mean, four years and a half ago, I was diagnosed with uh, metastatic breast cancer. I am uh, 45 years old. Unfortunately, in my case, when they realized that I had cancer, it was already too late in the sense that it already had metastases. I had metastases on my bones and on my liver. Um, so I began a journey that has been uh, extremely difficult and I decided to turn something difficult into something positive. So I decided that by the end of that year, I would do something that I wouldn't do under normal circumstances. And that something was a trip. And a trip as far away or as different compared to everything that I've done before. And at the same time, some friends were moving to China. And I decided, OK, I mean, Beijing it is. And I couldn't have done a better choice, really. This is another word. I mean, this is something completely, completely different. There is no in-between in, in, in China. I mean, either you like it or you hate it. And uh, I am in love with China. I mean, it's, uh, it has been really more than whatever I would have thought. It's, uh, people are charming. I mean, they, are, they have this naivete that uh, you don't find uh, any longer. Um, I love the, the culture. I mean, I think they are, they are going through a very interesting change. They are doing things in every sense at the Chinese style, but uh, I, I find that fascinating. I'm, I'm, I'm going back with a new law, which uh, is new for me. So in this new life, the hardest thing for me is not really to have new plans. I mean, the only, my only dream is to stay alive for as long as I can with a good quality of life, I mean, because otherwise I don't think it's worth it. Continue um, allowing myself to, to see the world.